Alright, so I'm back again with another update here on the Sharp C1 Famicom television. Uh, made a little bit of progress and uh, starting to figure out more of it. Uh, I'm finding out that my B plus voltage, which is the main voltage um, that runs through um, the flyback here, is not getting high enough. So, um, if you can see here, um, I'm supposed to be getting 125 in, and then this is the SCR out that runs back to the SCR, and then when everything is running, my B plus voltage should come to 110 volts. Well, that's not happening. Something um, is either um, not allowing the enough voltage to pass through, or something's not regulating the voltage. Uh, I'm getting like 86 volts instead of 110 volts. Um, it might be because of a certain chip on the board um, and the um, horizontal output transformer. I was getting weird readings from that. Uh, but after doing a little bit of looking, I found out that there was actually a crack in the board. Um, if you can see it there. Um, this was my, my repair here just to bridge the ground plane. I found out that a whole big section of the board uh, around here and down wasn't getting a proper ground. It was a very intermittent ground because uh, there was a hairline crack kind of just going through the board. Um, I'll try to shine a light behind it and you might be able to see a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit right there and I just happened to be looking at the board, looking at the different components and testing things and I saw that crack there. So I think that's another big step toward getting this thing working. So I'll keep working on it and keep you guys posted. So stay tuned. Bye. All right, so I was able to get this torn apart a little bit more and uh, got down to the chip that I think it might be. I was searching on the internet and I found out that the Sharp uh, XM series monitors that were used in the Nintendo Red Tent arcade machines are actually very similar and use uh, the same SCR controlled circuit and uh, were made by Sharp. So a lot of things are very similar on the diagram on the uh, schematic. And fortunately, I found a site johnsarcade.com and he had the schematic uploaded. And I was able to follow through on the schematic and I did some searching. I was able to find somebody online that had a similar problem on their, um, their XM series monitor. And I'm thinking it might be this IC here. So I've got a new one to put in. Uh, from eBay and uh, pop it in and hopefully this solves the problem.